Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to another Planet Coaster video where today we're not building anything in the steampunk area. Yeah, that's right, I am. I've done it. It is nearly finished. You may have saw the video where I am. I, I did an area tour showcase, that sort of thing, you know. I am. Yeah, I did that. V that video, that was a thing. And now we're building something else. A, a building an RMC. Everyone's favourite coaster. I haven't ridden one. I will be riding one soon, but I'll get onto that later. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. A building an RMC, as you can see on screen, it is being built. And if you looked at the thumbnail, you'll know there is a custom support structure I build for the lift hill, which looks like the the RMC lift hill structure when they do a ground up one, and also sometimes when they do a conversion. I know Zadra at Energylandia has one, and Iron Gwazi has one as well. So yeah, that's very cool. So yeah, we do that as well in this video. But um, yeah, we also we also um, do the layout as you can see. I'm building it here. This is um, this is the RMC layout. It um, it has one inversion, which is that zero zero G stall. Um, underneath the lift hill, that goes underneath the lift hill like it does on Zadra Energy Landia. A ride I very much want to go on, which I will not be going on for a while. But yeah, I I am yeah. What's it? The, the layout's done now, as you can see. Oh no, not quite done. Reprofile this last bit here. There we go. Very nice. And there is the train. Um, yeah, it doesn't make it around because me being really stupid, I was using the terrain indicators to see how high everything was. Oh yeah, that's right. That will that will make it over. Then I realised, I'm gonna admit, this bit's on a hill. So that's why it's saying lower height, except it is, that bit was actually taller than the lift hill. So yeah, I fixed that. I mean, it turned the friction down a bit as well, because RMCs go really fast around the layout of a Dalton product coaster. And um, yeah, I, I, um, I intentionally did make it a bit tall, but obviously because of the raised terrain, it was way too tall. Yeah, because I, I am, what's it called? I thought the smoothing would make it a lot lower because it's an outer bank hill, but it didn't. So I had to lower it manually. And here's me just testing it out, and it works. Look at that, brilliant. And now I'm going to disable the supports on the lift hill and zero G roll and change the track core to white. Huh? Why? Yeah, I've not made it white. Oh, I must. Oh yeah, I remember now, yeah, I made it grey and then I made it white, or like light grey afterwards because it's going to, um, um, the theme of this ride, yes, the theme, it's going to be mountain themed, what a great theme, I know, I am a genius, I want, I want to build something like Expedition Everest at Disney World, right, but have it instead of a family coaster really have it an RMC so yeah that's that's what the plan is here for this area I'm also going to have a couple more rides as you can see the RMC is now built I'm building the, the lift hill structure now I'm building it modular so I'm going to build this little section here um, I, I this took this took a while because I kept doing it wrong I mean I'm just gonna build it out of this little section here as you can see the section is made out of wood and it is brown at the moment I will change the core of it rather painfully as well because I made them out of the haunted house beams so I thought hmm you know when I can just select them all and change them all of the core at the end no because some of them are four meter beams and some of them are two meter beams so I had to select, select try and select all of the right same type of beam and it was annoying so I ended up doing it one bit of a time here we go here is my desperate attempt to recall of them um yeah it wasn't working so it took this took me an embarrassingly long time and then at the end I realized I'd made it too wide it was really wide so I had to trim it a bit make it a bit narrower after I after I attempted to put this on the track yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't good. This, although it did only take me. This took. 
this lift hill structure, I thought it was going to take me ages, but this only took about half an hour, which is cool. And I thought this was going to take ages, but no, clearly not. Anyway, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about. So, um, yeah, yeah, I haven't uploaded for a few days because I've been away, but... You may know, oh yeah, this is, this is where I start building it, and I don't realise this is, I'm going a minute, is that a bit wide? Anyway, yeah, it's too wide, I'll fix that in a minute, yeah. So, um, I have not rolled it for a few days, but if you, um, if you just scroll down a bit, you might see a, um, subscribe button. If you've not clicked that, um, you, you know, hmm, I'd recommend clicking it, to be honest. But if you have clicked that, well, thank you very much. And you'll see that subscribe button has three numbers next to it. Yes, three. There is another number now. Uh, I now have three numbers next to my name. There is a one, a zero, and I believe an eight. Let me just double check that. If that is correct. I have a 108 subscribers. Thank you very much, everyone. And I hope that number will increase in the future and not decrease if you're watching this and if there's only two numbers there or two digits i should say um oh dear i've done something very wrong i've probably been cancelled for something hmm that's not great anyway yeah i've now built the main portion of this um this structure of support it's not one support is it it's I mean, it is kind of one big... Um, I'm just really going to call it a structure. I've built the main bit of it now. I just need to build this bit goes down. But this bit was painful because I had to... I had to angle it. So, yeah, I, I used the same one piece I built before for most of it. But I, you see there's this little bit here which I had to use another bit for. I had to build a custom bit. And to be honest, I might go back and change the entire crest of this hill a bit because it's a bit janky I mean it looks all right but mm, it's, mm, I might I might actually go and change the track to better align with the thing is <laughs> as you can see it's floating above, above it I couldn't really get it right so I had to um, make some little things that go up it, it look I mean it's not that bad but I might change yeah like I said I might change the track tiny bit just to better match it and now I'm going to build some um, support so this is me re angling it because for some reason I tried my very hardest to make it so the lift hill was on a angle which could be angle snap to for this exact reason but it wasn't quite so I had to angle it manually it was annoying here we go so yeah now I am going to build the, um, the vertical bit goes down in the middle yes and um yeah we are coming towards the end of the video this one was a kind of a short one because I, I wanted to make a video basically I was gonna make this video but I was away obviously so I didn't have much time and then I realized I'd hit 100 subscribers so I wanted to do a video but I, I, I didn't have a video ready so I had to make this in a hurry anyway I, did, I was going to make this support in the middle here, have a be wider and then sloping, but the zero G stall was in the way, so I decided to scrap that idea. Just do it like this. I don't think it's that bad. I think it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, comment, join the Discord, you, you know, all the usual stuff. But this is me building a big concrete footer. I'll see you in the next episode, everyone.